I am here with um, a brand new patient, Lewis Earn, who I met about 10, 15 minutes ago. He is a 30-year Marine, retired two years ago? 10 years ago. 20, 2006. 2006, sorry, I was thinking 2016. Retired 2006. He came in with a constant left shoulder pain that he's been suffering with since February when he was pulling bushes. And he's a former bodybuilder. He's a power lifter. And um, I think I'm blowing his mind a little bit today because we found that he could not sit to stand on his left leg because he was having a really tight pull in his left buttock area. Yes. yes. But right side sit to stand, he was able to pop up and down with no problem and did two sets of 20 of those for me. Yes. And then we found he was very tight when I would turn him to his left hand side. So I had him twist to his right hand side. And I wish I would have captured his face when this all happened because after we twisted him to the right hand side, tell me what happened with you trying to stand up on your left foot. It doesn't make sense. It was easy to stand up on my left foot twisting to the right. I don't know how that relates to anything, but it's it works. And you couldn't even get your bottom off the chair, correct? Correct. What using was, my left leg, correct. Using your left leg, what was going on? Why couldn't you stand up? What Was, was there pain or was it just weakness? Both. Pain and weakness in, in my buttocks, hamstring area. Okay, the other thing too, he came in for shoulder pain. He was having a constant six, or three out of ten shoulder pain in his left hand, left-sided shoulder. He is left-handed. Um, we also, he was having a four to five out of ten pain when we would have him lift his arm up, flexion and arm straight out to the side for abduction. After we did the twists and after we did the sit to stands and he was able to sit to stand on that left leg, I had him stand up and I said, okay, now let's talk about your shoulder. How's your shoulder feeling? And you said? It's probably about not even a two, which so, doesn't make sense. Okay. The pain is about... <laughs> Um, 65, 70% better. Yes. The motion, how'd that feel when we did the motion? Better, better range of motion. Slightly, moderately, or significantly improved? Significantly. So we haven't even really touched your shoulder. We've worked on trunk rotation, and right. we've worked on sit to stands, both on your better side. Right. Right, haven't even right side and correct. Right, right side, answers. correct, yes. 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 And being a former bodybuilder and a former power lifter, um, what are you thinking of what we're doing with you now and how it's having an effect on your body? As a former power lifter, it doesn't make sense why you can work this side and it affects this side. It doesn't make sense, but it works. It works. It works. I, don't ask me why. So if I were to have somebody who's having shoulder problems, knee problems, hip problems or something, and they were hesitant on coming in for physical therapy because it shouldn't work because it's too painful, what would you advise them? I'd advise them to go check it out. Okay. Because there's things that you can do that you did that shouldn't affect the damaged area, but it, it, it relieves the pain and it makes the range of motion better. I don't know how that all works. That's, you need to go see a physical therapist. So, so basically what you're saying is we can um, alleviate pain, stiffness, tightness without even messing with the area that's pain, stiffness, and tight. Right. Without even doing anything with the bad part. Lewis, you worked on the good parts, and it's already made the bad parts feel better. Lewis, I appreciate your honesty and time, and um, I look forward to working with you. Go to Volks. You. There you go. Hey, I like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I, I didn't say Volks. that. Go to Volks. Volk Physical Therapy. There, there you, you have go. it. Thank it's you. Harrisburg. Oh, there you go. All right. Thank you.